Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the bail wrapper. All right, so here I have my JCB with my bailer. As you can see, I have a couple of bales right here. And uh, in this context, because I want to make silage bales, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bale this wet grass. So as you can see, it's dark green, so it has not been tetted yet. So let's go ahead and just make a bale, just to demonstrate that's what, that's what you would do in this context. There you go, bale is made, perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab the wrapper. One moment. Okay, so I have the wrapper now. And uh, what you wanna do is, um, so when you first get the wrapper, you will have to, in this case, you'll have to, oh, a little ground bale. Um, you'll have to fold the wrapper up like so well this is how it'll come so you need to unfold it first so this is the way you when you first buy it this is the way it is you need to unfold it by pressing x and then that's all you need to do next step is drive the bale wrapper up to the bale itself and then as you drive up it'll automatically pick up the bale and then it will start wrap well in this case it'll start wrapping the bale so if you have the engine, if you have an automatic engine turn on, so when I hop, hop out of the tractor there, the engine automatically shut off. So the baler, bale wrapper stopped. So as you can see, it stopped in this context. But if you have manual engine start on and off, it should continue. All right, so there you go. That's that. So once it's finished wrapping, you press Y to unload the bale. And then you'll have a nice round bale ready to go. All right, so let me show you that one more time. I have a couple of the bales right here. So here's the next bale. So you can be, you don't have to be super meticulous about approaching these bales. They'll automatically get picked up um, and they'll automatically start wrapping. The only thing it won't do is it won't automatically unload the, the wrapper. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap that bale. So it's gonna be done in a moment. There we go. Should be done after one more, two more passes, I think. There we go. So that's how you use the bale wrapper. One thing to note is as soon as you wrap the bale, it becomes a silage bale. Uh, there's no fermentation uh, in the base game. And you can just drop that silage bale directly into one of your mixing wagons, for example, and you'll have silage automatically like that. There's one other thing you can do with these, or you should be able to do with these silage bales. One moment. Okay, so here I am at the BGA, and you should theoretically be able to drop the silage bale in here. Let's find out if we can. Let's go ahead and drop it in there. There you go. We just sold one of the bales and we made $2,000 from that. So that's one of, the, one of the ways you can use the silage bales is by putting it into the Silo King right here. And uh, that'll give you some silage. Well, it'll give you some money at least. In this case, so that gave us $2,000 for that one bale. So right now the BGAs, the bunkers are, are broken. So that's another way you can get around that particular fix. So that's what you can do with the silage bales. Lastly, uh, the silage wrapper cannot be used with straw bales. It can only be used with hay bales. So I was using wet hay before in my context. So I was using this over here. So all I did was just cut it and then rake it and that was it. Um, so that's how I was creating my silage. So keep that in mind when you're using the bale wrapper. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment below with what tutorial you'd like to see next. My name's Ian Robson. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys later.